So in addition to growing some vegetables on the cottage garden, we also grow some little fruit trees. This is a high bush blueberry. I'm not sure if it's a rabbit eye or whether it's just another type, but it's a high bush blueberry. We've got three of those plants right over here. Two of them are new. I planted last year because we had some others die. Got a couple blackberries here. They're only three years old or so, so they're not really producing a whole lot of fruit yet. Unfortunately, one of them died, so I'll have to plant. It takes, you know, several years before it really starts to crank up fruit. And then over by our Beverly Hills pool here, we have Satsuma tangerines. And these go kind of in cycles. One year they'll produce 40, the next year they'll produce 10. So they, they don't really need a pollinator. Um, but I did plant two of them together. But that ginormous tree that you see in the back is another type of orange tree. But unfortunately, it produces massive amounts of completely inedible oranges. And that is a result of me accidentally cutting the grafted uh, trunk off years ago so that instead of um, it growing, you know, the grafted satsuma oranges, it ended up growing whatever the grafted root was. And it's this enormous tree. And the reason that I haven't cut it down yet is because it has like crown of thorns, major thorns on this thing that just tear you up every time you even try to trim it. I mean, look at this. That thorn right there, look, look how long that is. So I need to cut it down. I think what I'm going to probably do is study up a little bit on grafting. And I'll cut some of these branches off. I'll talk to some people that are good at it. I'll cut some of these branches off and graft them on some of the lower things. And then just keep this other stuff trimmed off. It doesn't really act as a pollinator. Not that they really need a pollinator, but it's, it's a little bit better. But um, it's just kind of a nuisance, and it scares me. And so I, I haven't really done anything with it yet because I'm afraid to trim it. Just because I, I look like... Every time I try to trim it, trim it, it looks like I've been in a, you know, in a wrestling match in a in a tub full of razor blades. So it's, you know, even when I wear thick clothes, they just jam through it. So I'm going to rent a suit of armor and get out the chainsaw. And one of these days, um, me and me and this this tree here, we're going to have a come to Jesus meeting. <laughs>